My name is Teresa Davis, and I am the Literary Events Coordinator for the Arts Exchange. I was a classroom teacher for many years, and as a result, have quite a collection of teaching materials and no limit to stories. As an educator, I chose to use a thematic approach to teaching, using literature and geography as an anchor. Each story will have a suggested art project component. The list of materials for each project will be in the event description. Thank you for supporting The Arts Exchange. The Arts Exchange does not own the rights to this book. This is solely for community sharing purposes. Thank you for listening. Selwe by Lupita Nyong'o, illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Selwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba the color of dusk, and Meech, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Selwe either. People gave her sister Meech pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Selwe names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Selwe felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Selway dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She just wanted real friends, too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh, no, she will hear about this from Mama. Selway decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please. Make me as fair as the parents I am from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, may I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Soleil rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Selway told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Selway, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Selway whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Selway's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful. Selway sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart it begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now, you get up, out you go. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Selway's window. The night has sent me, the star said. Come with me. Selway hopped onto the star, and off they went.
Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day, and they were sisters. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun, but then day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister, so did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. Day set off to find night, and she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all color and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow with night, everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change, not even a little, not even at all? Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on, and they promised to celebrate the brightness in each other whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night and every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know light and dark, strong and beautiful. So they rose the next morning beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Selway felt beautiful inside and out. This is the author Lupita, and you have just listened to Selway, Art Project to Follow. So here's the art project that goes with the book you just heard. What you need is a little bit of water, uh, and I try to repurpose as much as I can. So this little container used to be on top of a Dairy Queen Sunday, what? Um, and a couple of paints, whatever your favorite colors are. Uh, my, my two favorite colors are 
purple because it's beautiful, and orange because nothing rhymes with it. Don't try it, it can't happen. All right, you need a glue stick and some liquid glue, some glittery things if you have them, a square of aluminum foil, a Sharpie marker, and three small paper plates, okay? What you're gonna do, a pair of scissors. Uh, if you are a child that is too young to work the scissors, then you should let an adult do this part for you, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the circle or the middle out of one of your paper plates. Then, you're going to use your paints to decorate. And I'm repurposing these sponges instead of uh, paint brushes because I like the little effect that it has. And it makes it so that it's not so wet that it won't dry in a timely fashion. The paint that I'm using right now is but you can also use watercolors. And instead of using a sponge, if you wanted to, you could actually just use a paintbrush. And if you're really impatient like I am for things to dry, you can also use the hair dryer to dry it more quickly. And then use it on cool. Um, yeah. All right. Now you're going to take your second paper plate and you're going to take your square of aluminum foil. You're going to cut it down a little bit so that it fits and sticks mostly to the center of the plate. stick the center foil in the center smooth it out now it's not gonna reflect your face, but the whole point is we're gonna put a positive message to ourselves on here to boost our own everything. Okay, you have that part done. And now you're going to take some of the liquid glue and put it along the edges of your plate. Try not to get it in the center on your aluminum foil. Okay. Then we're gonna take this part and stick it to this part. And then we're gonna take our final paper plate, and have it ready. But I'm gonna think of something I wanna say about myself. So um, I think I would I wanna walk by this every day and think, oh yeah. Um, so I'm gonna say, oh snap. Look. Awesome! That's me.
then I'm going to take my final paper plate, turn it upside down, and on the back, I'm going to put some glue. I'm going to stick the top plate to that. So because it's round, it's gonna roll if we don't put something to stabilize it, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our square, our rectangle, and fold it in half. I'm gonna decide where the center is. Put a little bit of glue. dries a little bit, um, that's when you take your glitter bits and you can embellish. That's what we call decorating, embellish it. So this is the one, the first one I made, and you can see the glitter on it, and this is the second one. So um, stay positive and you're beautiful.